The two Koreas back on talking terms again. Many experts have positive reviews for President Park Geun-hye's North Korea policy, also known as her trust-building process. While many say it is starting to take off, South Korea's Minister of Unification elaborated on the two-track approach to reporters on this Wednesday. Arirang News's Unification Ministry correspondent Hwang Sung-hee has the details. South Korea's top North Korea policymaker said Wednesday that there is no trust between the two Koreas, but stressed that this lack of trust can serve as an opportunity for opening up a new era of inter-Korean relations. There is a high level of distrust between the two Koreas now. But paradoxically, I think now is the time for us to take the lead in setting up a new order based upon trust. Six months after President Park Geun-hye introduced the so-called trust-building process to deal with the North, South Korean Unification Minister Liu Gil-je outlined the concept of the policy to reporters on Wednesday. According to Minister Liu, trust can be regained through a two-track approach of dialogue and pressure. The trust-building process has both hard-line and soft-line approaches. It can be summarized as a policy that effectively uses a balance of dialogue and pressure. Some say President Park's carrot-and-stick approach has been relatively effective. The two Koreas agreed earlier this month to reopen their jointly-run Kaesong industrial complex and are waiting to hold further talks on resuming other forms of inter-Korean cooperation projects. But as the Koreas try to overcome years of mistrust, there are hurdles in the way. They will meet on Friday to discuss resuming reunions for families separated during the Korean War, but are still butting heads over where the meeting should take place. Minister Liu says Seoul will not rush things with the North, but rather take its time and start with building much-needed trust between the two countries. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.